So the long journey to the summit of European football starts with the opening fixture of the Champions League. The atmosphere, the sense of expectation, fevered, frenetic. This is the one fixture they all wanted to see, and every day has only fanned the flames of expectation. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. So this is how the two teams line up. we go then let us put a stop to that that's here dangerous looking ball and it's come to nothing Rui Patricio sends that a long way. Gigi Ofo. Well, Tunis steered out wide. And helps available out wide. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Header! Harmlessly behind. Ojija Ofo just had too many bodies around him. He would have done remarkably well to score from there. Olympiakos certainly won't want to look back and, and dwell on that. It was a good chance, though. Passes it through, receives it from behind. Olympiakos have had plenty of possession, but few, if any, genuine chances. He's out of play for a goal kick. More than happy to take the muscular approach. So what now? Forward it goes. He's left his man. Big chance! A wonderful effort all by himself. I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him. With the ability he has, he can reproduce. He was expecting a better ball than that. Had a foul. Yes, the uh, referee's given it. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card.
ball, but not especially accurate. He's had a shot! It's a carbon copy of their previous miss. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. Good idea, just poorly executed. And it's Pacini. Ojicha Ofo plays it forward. Pacini. Great ball and shakes the shoots. Ramal goes looking, and it's half-time here. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. we go once more at least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half defenses are doing what they should and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here looks like a good ball through well that's the first attempt Peter we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play Ball, but it's not hit its target. Aimed long and direct. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Has a hit! Head towards the front then. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Pity that because it had a decent chance of progressing. Trow. William Carvalho. Not long left, and still we await the breakthrough. He's had a go! Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Mathieu goes long. Looks to slip it through. He's gone for it! He'll have a dip! That really should have hit the net. <laughs> Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Olympiakos opting to make a double change here. Oh, that's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Olympiakos have to get it into the box and quickly. Olympiakos showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Too much on it, and that's the keeper's. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. 
Olympiakos must wait for their first win, but they have their first point. That, for now, will have to suffice. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? I don't think they'll be too upset about that. One point is OK, and steering clear of an opening loss keeps the mood in the dressing room upbeat and confident that better results await.